Boston Richie, we might have changed the whole topic. Boston Richie snitch. I want Avo and Tay to stay online if they can. Boston Richie, we have yo. They didn't even have to bring in the Big Mac, bro. You see, you listen. I do more work begging and pleading with my audience, and I supre- I appreciate them so much because they make sure I get the Big Mac with the large fry, apple pie. I can get four sauces. I get the barbecue, the buffalo, and a sweet sour from McDonald's with the little six piece nugget. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying, they didn't even have to get that. Bro. They didn't even have to get that for Bro. Boston Richie to talk. They didn't even have to get him the ultimate feast. They didn't have to get him a peppermint frosty in the case he did from Taco Bell to snitch. That By the time he sat down, this nigga started talking. By the time he sat well, down, he started talking. And go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to send you the link. I got a better link than that. Give me a second. I got to pull that off right now. I literally just put that off for another day. Damn. Being this room dislikes somebody. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Being this one, that though. Mm-hmm. He's at the brain place. Being this room, you like somebody. What about him? Tell me about him. Tell me about your relationship. That's that's the dude. They say I, that's the dude. My name is Jalen Foster. My name is Jalen Foster. Okay. Being this room dislikes somebody. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Being this one, that though. Mm-hmm. Is that the brain Yeah, I just sent I sent something to the email where it has uh both clips. This is part one and part two is the Twitter link. So we get the full coverage. Hey, listen, it's Pen 90 Jake dropped the 17 and then he dropped the 53 minutes. That's that's savage. Yeah, but we don't I yeah, you know, I don't want to, you know, just why does 1090J have all the police documents? That's the question I got. I feel like this was definitely- well from what he and, said. And, and why is he a Florida blood? Why is he a Florida blood? Is that is well, that- he got that through prison? But he's you, saying you, you that you a nigga that? Sni- you, you, you vouch for that? For that's Florida prison bloods? stuff. No, no, that's prison Most stuff. Most Florida games are prison stuff. But he to answer Florida boy J question. He said he's doing all this because a nigga snitched. He didn't say a nigga. But he said somebody snitched on him. Let him tell it. Yes. Hey, Hold on. Hey, it's part two. I don't know if we just played yet. Oh, so he's sitting down. They just got him in there. They're not even questioning him yet. And he's going to start fucking dropping hot 16s. Go ahead. Oh. I know. Let me see. Hey, Dad, man. I think, I think that's so. Hmm. You got a skinny face like that? You got a skinny neck too. You got a skinny neck. The lady. Yeah, but you guys see Boom Boom when you don't call us. We seen Boom Boom one time. I just told Miss Nate what was. We seen her one time one night. And we, when she come home, she only come out. If you want to rewind it, fifteen seconds back. Let's go. I went night, and we when she come home, she only come out like two or three. Miss Nick, what was we seen her? We seen Boo one time. I just the lady find her. Yeah, but you guys see Boo when you don't call her. We seen Boo one time. I just told Miss Nick, what was we seen her one time one night, and we when she come home, she only come out like two or three, and you got. She said, but you seen Boom Boom, you didn't call us. She said it like, nigga, you got the rap phone. You got the rap phone. <laughs> you knew better. Why you ain't even call us? You That's knew. Funny. She said it as if we already have it agreed upon that you should have already called us. You slipping in the first place by me finding out you seen Boo Boo in the interrogation room. I should have got the phone call when you seen Boo Boo when y'all was in the trap. You whole ass nigga. Why you ain't call Boo Boo? Why you ain't call Boo Boo? Why you ain't call me when you seen Boo Boo? We got a preconceived agreement that you was going to call me anytime you seen Boo Boo. You seen that nigga. And I'm just finding out. We, we sitting here. Now you making me look crazy. I already told my people that you was going to tell me who you seen when the niggas came up. That you wouldn't be sitting here. We was going to be on the same page. Now you got me look crazy. I told him you was an A1 first class motherfucking snitch. And you out here acting like a bitch. Let's go ahead and play that clip again, Jay. Let's go. Hit the cash app, dollar sign, Florida boy, Jay. is live and on point network. 
We out here live. Salute to Jay Doug. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this fly ass 49ers San Francisco 94 jersey showing you niggas what time it is. Man, let's go ahead and play this clip, man. You gotta be by the speed store, like right though. By that bottle shot and speed store. But they just put me together. The dude, they said it was it was a dude named Jarrell. And we know him way, way back. But again, they were heard like, oh yeah, the nigga cut his house and went back to Orlando. It was a, they said it was a great call. So I'm just saying I sit back and I think Jarrell and Eddie Duhane. And they said it was a dog, it was a tall, it was a tall red dude with tattoos and a short dude. Eddie short and Eddie short and dark skin. Mm -hmm. Jarrell tall and light skin with dreads. But they, we know this. Me and my brother don't know this. My mama don't know this, but they don't know we know this. So I'm just saying, like. He's they not like you, bro. You Jarrell. Right. Like Jarrell. He ain't been around. I'm going to try to tell you something. I'm going to try to tell you something. What it was. It was something happened, but his mama got the, the great car. He was saying something back. Hey, that was at his mama's house. Wow. Boss so snitchy. It kind of sounds sad because he sounds like he desperate to get up out of that motherfucker. Witness number boy, three. Somebody must have told that nigga when he was walking down and talked to the detective, boy, you come back here and we'll take your booty. And nigga went bro, <laughs> telling everything. Bro, my issue with this is that we're not moving the goalposts and snitching. Snitching is providing police with any information that is helping them with an investigation on the crime that they cannot solve themselves as you are committing criminal acts and living in the street life that is a, cold a definite case. A cold case. won't even call it a cold case if you are telling the police of any crimes that are being committed while you are indeed a crime committer that is a definition of snitching talking to the police period bro we got to get back to that simple definition. If you talk, if you, once you go in the interrogation room and you say any other than let me see my lawyer, you snitching. So, Avo, do you feel like Boston Richie's a snitch? Well, um, I, I, I just, I don't, it's crazy because there's a level of kidnapping that is kind of like, do you really call it? Like he's being entrapped. Like I think he's mostly ignorant about the law. So when I when I always look at a cop, I always think of there's three situations with a cop. You can either get a cop, which is a good version. Hey man, like just give me a ticket, let me go home. You can either get a judge, which is what they're doing with Buston Rishi. He got kidnapped, taken to the prison, and now they questioning him like a, like a judge. Another side of a cop could be the executor because he could kill you in the name of the state. So um, he's mostly ignorant about the law. He should just say, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. And just get a lawyer because in reality, they're going to use everything against him. But I don't think he knows that. Go for that, Alvo, because like I say, if you get in an interrogation room and you don't say, let me talk to my lawyer, you know, anything after that is snitching, bro. We got to get back to the basic. All this, he was ignorant to the law. Everybody knew if you talk to the police and you give him information, that's snitching, bro. That's from the age 12 to infinity. But did somebody get convicted for the whole 53 minutes? Well, somebody came out on say Cheese and said that they did time behind the information that this nigga told. And he said... That he didn't really want to come out and get no shine because he didn't want to make the city look bad. But I think that's just some city through in there. I'll see if I can find that. Give me one second. Yeah, Wasn't that the guy, the same guy that started his career with him and had songs with him? So maybe they just try, trying to throw shade or just hating afterwards, don't you think? Um, my my opinion about the the situation is do I think 1090J is a snitch? Who cares if he's a snitch? He's just a, a blogger. He's just a white blogger who's reporting on uh, hip hop and hip hop crimes. So he can be very well working with police. I don't think that's going to affect him. Just like I don't think academics getting beat up is going to affect him because they're not portraying to be the toughest people on the Internet. The reason why it could affect academics even more is because he threatens people to fight him. But when it comes to people who are not in rap, being tough isn't a uh, leverage for them to get a bigger platform 
So for 1090 Jake, if he's a snitch, it doesn't really matter. I think the main issue right now is all this information, all this video being freely given out of Boston Richie snitching, and we know he's not the only snitch in hip hop. It leads us to wonder why is this information being given out at this time about Boston Richie, who is snitching locally or in this city? Who's who's snitching? Uh, who's giving this information to uh, 1090 Jake, and why is he getting this information? Like, why is he being is Boston Richie being targeted? We're gonna go ahead and, go ahead and play this. Um, well, alleged paperwork, uh, because it's, it's people saying it's not real, it's people saying that it is real. Um, but your name is thrown in the mix, right? Um, for 2013, um, you know, car situation, a grand theft auto situation, um, you know, oh, they stole a car, no sympathy for them. Fuck that. So, Avo, chill out. We're trying to, we're trying to listen to the situation. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, like. After I guess um tonight the Jake put out the little shit that he put out, you know what I'm saying? Shit just everybody been calling him a lot of questions, you feel me? And in the city, it ain't really been no inner questions in the city because us as a whole know what's up with that situation. We know it was a lot of bullshit in that situation, you feel me? And we know me and bro been got past that, you know what I'm saying? We brothers, so we she's name and you tell a nigga 2013. You criticize always inviting somebody to pull up. Do you know how to rumble like that? Because you all you criticized T Pain. He was like, yo, he kind of forgot. Yeah. Yeah, so that situation, even when he snitched on the car, he's he's the one who stole the car. That's the real he drove it back to the hood and to the trap. And then he told his homies, yo, I got a stolen car. This is what Boston Richie did. And then after he got his homies to get in the stolen car. He got caught in that same stolen car, and then when the police grabbed him and the three, I mean, the other two guys that were riding in the car Boston Richie, that Boston Richie stole, he told the police that it was a stolen car, and they had full um, information that he stole the car, and that he cooperated with police pretty much about that case. Exactly. What's going on? What you want to talk about? Let's go.